A year ago, a mother watched as her son's killers were sentenced for murder. Doreen Lawrence had been waiting for that day since her son Stephen was stabbed to death in 1993. On January the 4th last year, David Norris and Gary Dobson were jailed for that racist attack. That, as Sharon Thomas reports, Doreen's fight for justice goes on and she still believes racism is rife. This time round, you're just thinking, will it really happen? And to actually hear the guilty verdict was not saying music to your ears, but it's just like a relief that at long last that somebody's going to go down for Stephen's murder. One year ago today, Doreen Lawrence stood outside the Old Bailey to tell the world of her relief that after two decades, two men had finally been jailed for the murder of her son. She had campaigned every day of those years to see justice done. She and her former husband, Neville, have been through numerous rallies, marches, appeals for information and bitter disappointments. On the 4th of January 2012, Gary Dobson and David Norris were convicted of Stephen's murder and jailed for life. Stephen Lawrence was murdered at a bus stop near his home in Eltham on the 22nd of April 1993 in a racially motivated attack that shocked the country. His mother says the coalition government still needs to do more to tackle racism. I feel that like since they've been in power, they seem to be rolling back all the, I believe, the, things we, the, the strides we've made since the McPherson report came out. I think what officers seem to forget they, that they need our consent in order to police us. They don't seem to, some of them don't seem to understand that. This year is the 20th anniversary of Stephen Lawrence's murder. The trust that bears his name is planning a series of events to celebrate his life. Lectures, concerts, celebrity dinners. Stephen's mother has her own hopes for such a landmark year. I think for um, ordinary people like myself, you need to stand up for what you believe in. You know, and I think sometimes people are, are sort of frightened of authority, that they feel that they can't challenge um, authority because they are the authority. But you need to stand up because I think it, it takes ordinary people to make a difference. Two men may have been convicted of her son's murder, but nothing will ever take away the pain for Doreen Lawrence and the thought of what could have been. I'm trying to picture him like as a grown man. And what would he be doing? And where would he be? Would he still be living here? Would he have travelled? Would he have been married? Would he have family? Singh was very ambitious, you know, so he set his goals, he knew what he wanted to do, and that was taken away from him. Doreen Lawrence ending that report from Sharon Thomas. Next.